So hello YouTube, my name is Vlad and this will be, a, I think, a quick video on how to install a hard drive, a second hard drive into a Mac Mini. So without further ado, what you need to have is this, this is a connector for, well, for hard drive. And you'll need to have, well, Mac Mini, which I do. So this is a piece of paper which I will be placing my Mac Mini onto. Now, the first part is actually rather easy. You just need to open it, so move this white dot from black to blank, I, I suppose. Now, this should pop up fairly easy. For some reason it, it does not, but there you have it. Now, if you want to upgrade RAM, that's pretty much it. Now, what you need to have is couple of screwdrivers this is the one which is called well I don't know what it's called star something I suppose you do not need to remove this part it, is, it only takes a couple of screws just a second I need to have another which I think is this one if I'm not mistaken no yes that's the one that's fairly easy you actually need to have three types of screwdrivers, I think. These two and a small one, which is not here maybe, or it is, I don't know. This one might do the trick, yes, that's the one. This is fairly easy job to do. Okay. So you remove the fan. And I have a couple of screws in here as well. This the big one. And you pull that one. Now you need to remove this one as well. Once you do, okay. You need to remove this thing, this part. And uh, you need to remove this part as well. Now all you need to do is actually push. Okay, and that way <coughs> this thing pops up and you need to disconnect this. This is a power supply. So just a second. I can actually, I think I can do it with my hands. Okay, so once you disconnect the power supply, it should be fairly easy to remove. Also, you need to remove this one which is the hard drive and you can remove the hard drive and this also should pop up easily ok once that's done you need to disconnect the antenna also easy and now you can actually remove the motherboard now <clears throat> you do not need this part anymore now there are a couple of more screws in here, this one and this one, as you can see, I will be removing those as well, okay, so this one and that one, now what you need to do is to remove the power supply and to remove the power supply you need to <coughs> well, remove first this security now you need to turn it to left and now once you have done that you can actually remove the power supply and once you can remove the power supply you have removed this so be right back i just figured out that um, i needed the <laughs> screws and I did not have them so uh, I took normal screws and I kind of just removed the tip and brushed it away so it's not quite Apple approved but what can you do so the next thing you need to do is to uh, insert it in here I already did place these rubbery pads so now I can screw this thing together 
and as you can see it is perfect apple design okay um, it's not actually that hard one would think because when you mention apple everybody thinks it's unserviceable but it's actually quite they have some I would say smart solutions so once this thing is screwed and hard drive is where it should be this thing needs to be put back together okay so first things first we need to screw this thing back which is I believe this one goes here okay and we need to screw this one together which this one I believe well this one has disappeared hmm. no, it did not okay so what I need to do now is to put back the power supply unit this is actually quite a neat power supply unit because if you think about for example that HP I did a review of um, it, it has a well external power supply unit and this one does not so that's actually quite a nice design now what we need to do is um, to put this thing back okay okie dokie and we need to put that safety pin back now bear in mind that this safety pin actually loses its uh, flexibility so you should uh, you should always see whether that pin is doing what it should or sometimes it will fall off and then all hell can break loose trust me on that one so once this is inside um, what you need to do is to um, push it okay push it a bit further in and you should connect the power supply jack okay let's put this thing a bit inside now I already did have a hard drive inside this <coughs> Mac but some changes needed to be made because well hard drive kind of stopped working so that sucked now, to insert this thing back inside you have these two uh, screws and as you can see there are two holes and that should go there so and that's actually pretty easy to insert however you still need to um, connect sorry you still need to connect the antenna so okay I will be connecting the antenna that's actually quite easy just um, just push it inside in just a second um, <laughs> this goes like that okay so just a second again this is really not that hard to do this is actually a, a beautiful design in my opinion anyway okay now all we need to do is to press it in the right spot I think this should do the trick okay and yeah now this thing goes underneath of course what I should do now is hook up the hard drive okay and I'll press this thing and just push it and there you have it that was that was everything that actually needed to be done now I am securing this hard drive 
as a first step because I don't want it to move. Now I'm placing back these connectors. Okay. Now uh -huh, there is one more which goes in here. Now what I need to do is to um, put this thing back, this plastic. Also very easy to put back. Now this screw in here goes in here. And one thing I like about Mac is look at those grills. You will never collect the dust in here. And the, the only the, the main reason that HPs tend to fail is because these grills get uh, dust in them and uh, the CPU or GPU overheats and goes wrong. So there's that. Okay, I just yeah. Oh, almost forgot to connect this thing, which would not be cool. I'll be going probably crazy. Okay. I just press it. And there you have it. And also, the same procedure is with the fan. So again, this is quite easy to do. Okay. Oh, sorry. Wrong hole. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. So, and there you have it. You've successfully upgraded your Mac Mini to a Mac Mini with two hard drives. Uh, the, uh, now, bear in mind, uh, if you if you are doing the fresh installation, this one already has a system on it and it has 512 gigabytes SSD. So if you're doing a fresh installation, uh, Apple will offer you a hybrid drive. So, I don't know. That's, I guess, cool. Well, there you have it. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask. And have a good day. Bye-bye.